Games here, and today we are looking at something for Minecraft. We're looking at the tool that I've made, as it says up here, uh, Yamster MJ MC Launcher. This launcher will allow you to, as you can see down here, you can change your name in Minecraft and change the amount of RAM that Minecraft uh, you allocate to Minecraft. So, when it says change name, I don't mean like your login name. I mean like, say we're playing offline and you wanted, I don't know, some weird name or you had friends over and they want to play with your Minecraft account because they don't have a Minecraft account and you wanted to play offline if two or more people join who don't have an account uh, they're both called player and one kicks the other one off uh, the same with these new land worlds uh, it's all the same so allow me to demonstrate just let me open up the file uh, desktop I think it's in server at the moment because this is intended really for your use for the server so I'll provide this link in the uh, description box that'll be down below if you can actually see me doing this anyway here is the tool so if I don't know I wanted to change my name enter your name uh, yeah because I can't have that can't have some adjacent except a minecraft name and say I wanted to a lot more RAM to Minecraft. So you have to enter it in uh, megabytes. If you enter 2048, that's 2 gigabytes of RAM we've now allotted to Minecraft. And if we press start, the screen goes blue, that's normal. And as you can see, Minecraft loads up. And here we are. Just not, It's just normal Minecraft, really. Single player. Been doing a bit of let's play. Don't think this is any more episodes because let's play is pretty much dead. Okay, and if I now open normal Minecraft, open my monitor, open my other monitor when this reloads. So while the Minecraft is loading, I'll allow me then to explain a few things. For this to work, you need to create a clean bin this is just clean minecraft bin and save it in minecraft.yab or minecraft uh, no bin yab in your minecraft folder this is because when minecraft updates it doesn't update completely so it'll still have the original version on if you try to load this I don't know you started at beta 1.8 it would still load up beta 1.8 when you load it up with my tool which is a bit annoying so if you just rename your bin to something else open up minecraft it'll then create a new bin rename the new bin it creates to minecraft yab and rename your old bin back to normal bin and you shall be fine you can actually see what i'm doing up here look you see it's two bins so now i shall now on this monitor up here load up my normal world play selected world i'm fusing 1.3.1 obviously they say has worked in pretty much every version for ages and I think will work for pretty much every bin for ages if I now press open to LAN oh, I'll cheat and set game to create it's just super effective. so I'll probably have to fly over and start LAN world I now get off this and now go to this one there we go look it's from Yabsum yeah, J's LAN world now normally if you try to join just logging in with the same account it would kick you off but with my amazing tool it will not so just loading up the world starting from the spawn point which I thought it would do now saving your stuff if you log on to the world with the same name it should pretty much save your stuff if you don't log on with the same name, like I've never logged onto this world with the name Yab before, therefore it won't recognise my name. Also, obviously, you cannot call yourself the same name as one of your friends. And I think there I am. I think I can see myself. There we go. I should be, should be using this second keyboard. And where am I? I am there. So, there I am. There is Yab Summer J in my amazing night skin. You know. So there I am, and if I now press F3, oh, stupid, stupid enchantment thing, E, E, G, 
you might get. Well, as you can see, I'm now using 1,820 megabytes, which is pretty much uh, 2 gigs. Plus or minus a little bit for you to have to run in the background. So, here we go. You may be noticing the keyboard clicks are reduced. Or you can't hear them as loudly, apart from when I wasn't using my new keyboard as much. Because, uh, because I now have the Raspberry Pi, obviously I have a keyboard, I can just plug it in and not have to use the previous keyboard. Uh, I think we'll disconnect now. There we go, look, server, close connection. So, as I said, the tool itself will be in the link in the download. Uh, I'm probably going to put some copyright thing in it somewhere, I don't know, at the bottom here. Uh, below it, I'm going to probably put copyright James uh, Yab78 somewhere. Uh, sim simply because I don't really want people ripping off the tool. I will probably provide the source code. Uh, I also provide the help instructions. Uh, just press, I forgot which, which it is. Just press C on the first on the original screen, and you'll get some help instructions. It also opens up your Minecraft folder here. That's what this bit of code does here. It just opens up your .minecraft folder, so you don't have to navigate to it. Uh, this is pretty much the bit that loads it. So this RAM H and RAM F. This is what tells you the RAM. RAM H is that has to be half what that value is. That's what that's why that's RAM H, RAM half. Uh, this just loads up the folder. So if you didn't want, I don't know, call it uh, instead of bin yab, you could change that if I do actually provide the proper thing. And then this is just the name bit at the end where you select your name. By default, if you don't change your name, uh, these are what these default values appear. Yeah, it just gives you the, the normal amount of RAM and sets your name to player. Uh, so anyway, I've been Yams from the Games. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.